everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Thursday. Today we are joined by two historical and diverse gals. Our first guest is garden loving, sunshine soaking, soulful young woman, Miss Body. Woo! Thank you, thank you very much for inviting me to the New York City here, and the Central Park is very pretty. I've never seen such beautiful flowers in my life. Thank you, thank you very much. Well, welcome to the show, Miss Maddie. How was your day? Uh, it was very good. I just tended to my flowers this morning before I got on my flight to Birmingham and took the next flight to to Indianapolis, and then uh, and then I'm here in, in beautiful New York. Thank you. It really is a beautiful day. So, you seem to enjoy having Scout and Jim around. Is there one thing in particular you like about the kids? Those kids just remind me of uh, when I was a young little thing. I, they're so full of energy and so free, and Atticus has done a good, darn good job. <laughs> and uh, they're just beautiful children, and uh, they're, they're going to be great people when they grow up. Can you share with us a memory you have from the children? Well, I remember right when, I think it was, uh, when Scout was born. He was a little thing, and uh, Jim was real interested in the flowers and so uh, took him and Scout out to the garden and they each have their own flower that they tend to every weekend and that was a very fine moment with the children while Mr. Atticus was out defending the public, you know what I'm saying? Very nice to Now from our understanding here at the Chick, the house burned out a couple years ago. What kind of impact did this have on you? Well, it was fine by me because you know what? There are more things in life than material things. Who needs a house when you have friends and good food? <laughs> but I didn't mind because I knew the community. We all support each other. I knew I'd have nice, nice spaghetti and chicken waiting for me because everybody supports one another. So the house meant nothing. It needed to go too. I needed a nice new little, little house. So it, it didn't mind at all. Is there one thing you wish you could have saved from the phone? I do wish I'd saved my photo album. Photo album, yes, from the plane. But I had some very good pictures of uh, Jim and Scout when they was little. And I'd watch them tend to them like my flowers. And how about the time you spent with Miss Stephanie Crawford after the burning? Did you enjoy yourself? Well, Miss Crawford is very, she has her opinions. Uh, everyone's entitled to an opinion, even though she's wrong. <laughs> but other than that, um, she she's a nice, nice lady, <laughs> um, and uh, I maybe won't run into her again. Hopefully. Okay. Uh, is there a different neighbor in specific you would have rather stayed with, and if so, who? Well, to tell you the truth, I would have rather stayed with Atticus. Just because he's such a nice man. <laughs> and those kids, I feel like they're my own in a way. Like my flowers. From what I understand, Mason is a highly segregated kid. What are your thoughts on the actions of the white community for black people? Uh, silently protest in a peaceful, peaceful manner. I protest. Because the world is changing, and with it, people's ideas need to change, and that includes people's color. You know, if we was all colorblind, this wouldn't make no difference, okay? Some of us may be a little bit darker than each other. What, what does it matter? It does not. So, I, I do not agree with my community views. You know what? After my house burnt down, I seriously considered moving to the, the great sunshine state and becoming a Cuban. You know? <laughs> no, I considered moving, but... But I, I stay because I I wanna I wanna see make them grow into something something better like a flower. That's beautiful. Do you have any additional comments on make them? Make them needs help. Any specific kind of help? Make them needs to change its ideas real soon, or else more more people innocent people are gonna die like poor Tom. That was not right. Um, and if, if we had women on the, uh, jury, I'm, I'm sure that's not be a problem, but 
with the people we have now, nothing's going to change anytime soon. Which is, it's saddening, but it's a beast. Okay, now, before commercial break, can you share with us, with us your thoughts on Addison Finch? Addison Finch, okay. His name about says it all. Finch, a glorious, glorious bird. But like the Finch, the bird, it is a, a beautiful, colorful creature that just is social and um, just looks for the greater good. I don't know what bird. But Atticus, yes, Atticus, he's born a good man, and uh, I'll see you get some tea with him this afternoon. You know what I'm saying?
We'll get him. No, but left me for Marilyn Monroe. Long story short, my heart was broken, and I turned to the evil of drugs. And my addiction was meth. I mean morphine. I get the two mixed up. You know how it is. <laughs> but yeah. And it was a hard, it was a hard life. My mama died when I was 12. Grandpa was never a daddy. Never had a daddy. Psych! I just kid you. Ha ha ha! I'm addicted just because I got addictive qualities. That's all there is to it. Gotcha. <laughs> Come on, before I die again. Come on, you wasting time asking me these questions. I flew up it. You know you can have a heart attack at my age from flying at the 1200 degree altitude in the air. You don't know what it took for me to get here, honey. And back in the day would have been a bandwagon and a mule, but no. It was a mule. A mule, yeah. Or a yak, you know. I really grew up in the mountains. Did I tell you that? I grew up in the mountains. I said a farm. My life was the mountains. 1902. Oh, it's morphine time. Got it. Interview. Let me get the name of my pistol. I don't go anywhere without this honey bunny. This name is Jeffrey. That is not a pistol. You hush up. I think I know my arm. I can't even aim it right. My leg's so, my arm's so messed up. I sure, I'll be. You leave me alone. I know my gun. It's messing many me time. It's formaldehyde time. You know what my... Help me, my child. It's morphine time. Move it, sister. Church. I gotta go to church. Take my morphine and go to church. Okay, uh, well, um, that's all for this week. Episode of The Six. See you next Tuesday at 6.